I am Lawati. And my brothers and sisters, we can say many things about dolphins. We, of course, do not supposed to give biology lessons, but may remark in passing that the creatures which are known to you as dolphins are much more than animals which swim in the deep. For these creatures have, for many years, possessed the prize of the human form, which is called the extension of the brain complex, known as the frontal lobes. And, therefore, this creature does have the intelligence that exceeds many of your so-called second density creatures, and is able to communicate with those of its own kind, and other entities as well, on a level which you may describe as telepathic. And on their evolutionary track, in this regard we may say that the creatures known to you as dolphins have progressed upon a path which is in, shall we say, somewhat of a balance or opposition to the path which the humanoid creatures of your kind have traveled. Those of the homo sapien nature have traveled a path that has for the most part, been a dusty one, and one which has remained upon the land. The creatures known to you as dolphins have traveled a path which has been somewhat more moist. This path has included the single-celled creatures of the ocean, which have developed over a period of time the nature of the vertebrate, which has included the knobby protrusion at one end known as the brain. This continuing evolution of complexity of the nervous system has developed additional parts of this brain which have corollaries to your cortex and thinking processes. The continuing development through various forms of what you would call fishes has progressed to the aquatic form of a mammal which has reached its zenith upon this planet in the ones which you call dolphins and some forms of the creatures which you call whales in that these creatures have been able to develop an additional portion of the brain organ which we have referred to previously as the frontal lobes and in this regard have activated an energy center which has allowed them to communicate which might be called telepathic. I am Lawati and my brothers and sisters, we might suggest to you that, as you are aware, many creatures upon your planet now, including the human form, possess the body of the fourth density in activation. And this is also the case with the creatures known to you as dolphins. And one more note, we do not wish to make any present feel lesser in their seeking. But your brothers and sisters of the dolphin family have been much more united and centered in their seeking and choosing of a polarity. For their seeking has reached in the positive polarity choice to an almost unanimous degree. And your question, do dolphins? Does the dolphin race precede the humanoid race and have its own individual and particular genetic trail or did those of Atlantis deal genetically with and become part of the dolphin race at one point many thousands of years ago? In this regard, we may note that crossover, shall we say, between the races of your third density beings this including those known as dolphins, and some forms of those called whales, has been very minimal. The genetic process of the ones known as dolphins has been, for the most part, a progress of a homogeneous nature, dwelling also within the boundaries of the third density illusion which you experience. Therefore, this trail which has been traveled by the dolphin is a trail which began at the same time the trail of the humanoid form began upon your planet approximately 75,000 years ago.